Greetings and salutations from the race truck. My race truck is smart now. Today, what I'm going to be over going over is uh, the U.S. Shift Quick Four controller that us here at Performville are very strong advocates of. Um, and the Quick Four, this would be the first vehicle this old that I've actually wired up um, to the degree that it has. Um, I've learned more about wiring in this truck than I ever have because it didn't have but one wire to start with. Um, so anyway, I, uh, I advocate and we all here advocate the Quick 4 controller, um, especially if you have a retrofit, you know, application such as this. This thing makes it so easy. I mean, you can get Holly EFI and everything else that controls everything and you can do a ton of plug and play stuff and, you know, it's going to really hurt your wallet. Not saying it's not great, I'm getting that myself in my Buick Grand National too. But for something like this, for guys like trying to convert from a 700R4, which is what I did, even though this never came with that either, this thing's gone through like three or four major changes now. Um, give you a little background, what I did in this truck over, you know, I've been working on this thing for three or four years now. And just doing little bits to it. It's a lifelong project. It'll never be done and it'll never be satisfactory. It's probably going to rust by the time I'm happy with it. Um, I used to have, under the hood, is a 454 out of an 87 Suburban. And uh, we've done little tricks to it and all that, but we're not talking a ton of power here. Uh, I'd say it's damn close to stock. But it's a lot more power than this truck actually needs and that I actually feel safe with because if you haven't noticed there is no seat belts there is no bags there is no anything this truck is as send it as you can get and I am very proud of that it was made out of a lot of spare parts um, 454 700R4 level 2 by Performer built prior to which worked really well however we're always changing things and I'm really discouraging people that want a 700 because not a lot of anybody knows how to actually adjust TV cable or isn't too good with a governor. Um, the reason I discourage that is purely because lack of knowledge, even though I put out videos showing everybody how. It overall is the accuracy. Um, it is near impossible to grind down a governor for your shift points or wake them up for you know a desired whatever shift point you're going for but it's nearly impossible to get that within you know a couple hundred rpm of where you actually want to be that's why i would recommend electronic that's why we're going over this today i've converted to a 4l60e level three the truck does not need a level three i just did it because i wanted it and because i can so we have the us shift quick four controller for this very reason. Now, give you a little background, US Shift is a fantastic company and we've been dealing with them a very long time. It is the most user-friendly, easiest hookup controller there is on the market and it's not going to break your wallet. Overall, it costs about 500 bucks and you're going to have to spend like roughly another hundred if you're a carburetor guy, uh, which I am. This 454 has a Rochester Quadrajet 4 barrel I had to buy a $30 bracket from TCI and a standalone uh, throttle position sensor that's bolted to my firewall and it operates just like a TV cable would. Um, that's just what I had to do. Those are great products. Um, it has worked well thus far. And they are pretty much bolt on. I had to make a small modification, a little grind on the bracket because the cable was rubbing it. But other than that, it was pretty painless and they look nice, which I'll be showing you that here in a minute. What I want to go over right now is for anybody that has any doubts about this, they give you a, here we are with the instructions, even I have to read this because I don't know everything about it, but um, they give you a hefty book, much thicker than ours, of some of the greatest overall information I could possibly even tell anybody. Um, you know, even if you don't want a controller, or if you just get this, I would save the book anyway because there's every code back here and why 
you're getting the code. I mean, there's several pages of it. Not only that, this is a standalone controller, as we all know, and it literally tells you everything. It acts as like a basically an OBD2 uh, TCM and scanner. Uh, you can troubleshoot, you can check line pressure, you can do all kinds of stuff with this thing. Uh, overall, this book tells you how to hook it up to fuel injected, carbureted, different carburetors, different shifters, um, and it, the wires are labeled beautifully. It gives you a wonderful pinout. Uh, typically, the only wires that you will have to play with for basic operation, which is mostly carbureted applications, but to get this thing to work for a basic application such as a retrofit, you will need to do power, grounds, which are very easy to do, and there's five wires that you will have to pay attention to, three of them being the throttle position sensor. You'll need five volts of power somewhere, key on, of course, um, the signal wire itself, and a good ground for it, and then naturally hook up the cable to whatever linkage you're using. Uh, some of the other wires would be like tack signal, which I wasn't going to do that because I don't really give a shit about RPM tack, but I put one in anyway just to make sure everything's working right. This is kind of only temporary. Um, everything else, all the other wires, they're labeled, they're easy. The vehicle harness and the overall transmission harness, which has three plugs, one for the solenoid, one for PRNDL, and the other for the output speed sensors. If some things to keep in mind and why this I think this controller is just fantastic is because if you are carbureted naturally you wouldn't have a mass airflow sensor so if you are if you are carbureted yes you're required to spend a little bit more money to get this to work right but overall it acts like a speed density tune more so than pulling data off the math as well um, if you're a fuel injection it's very plug and play. You won't have to spend that extra hundred bucks and it will, the transmission for the record pulls that off the output speed sensor, the mass airflow and the throttle position sensor. Those are the three biggest factors and that's all the transmission sees. It's really not that smart and even a dirty air filter that's, you know, it has to be extremely bad or too much of the oil from a K and N filter that will mess up the reading. Um, the mass airflow overall is where all the transmission pressure comes from. Okay, so take that and use it as you will. Um, real quick, since I'm by myself today, flip over. And this is the controller itself. And I'm, it was a late night, and I've just kind of wired it however I felt like it. Just get the hell out of here because it was 1 o'clock in the morning. Um, overall really easy user-free menu just turn and push so we can table select there's a multi-tune function you have a tutorial which I recommend doing you can just shut the display off I wouldn't um, you can adjust shift points and everything on this the home screen which I really like tells you if your keys off on mile an hour um, what gear you're in right here trans temp you can display a ton of things on this and uh you don't even need a laptop to hook this up they will this company is so fantastic you know you'll talk to them you'll tell them what you have and they'll upload a base tune um for you that most certainly will work especially with our transmissions uh the other part of it is granted that information is uploaded you may have to tweak it but you don't need a laptop you can do it all with this one knob and it's stupid easy. Now, if you want to take it a step farther, you can get all nuts with the free tuning software that comes with it. Um, I found it a little bit unnecessary to use the software personally, but there were some things that I wanted to pick at that weren't in the controller. But overall, this is what'll work for you. So that being, I really recommend it. It's a great controller. Um, I had a hard dash to hook it up to, and it probably looks like a little ass, but overall I'm happy with it. And um, I'll show you guys the front.
and see the little bit of the rest I had to hook up and overall um, you really don't need a lot of help with this if you don't know tuning at all this is where you want to go I mean it promise you it does it for you basically and then US shift themselves has even better customer service than anybody I've ever seen uh, even myself uh, and I think we have damn good customer service but if you have a question call them someone will answer they will walk you through it they're extremely friendly people and super knowledgeable um, so let's go around front and I will show you just a little bit that you need to do extra if you're a carbureted guy fuel injected this part's not for you don't worry so this is my 454 and she's a little dusty but overall I had a bracket back here that gold piece and uh, all it does is two bolts on the back of the carburetor like I said I'm gonna make a little grind and then this for those of you wondering what the hell this is this is the original horn for the truck it's bolted to the valve cover I love it sounds like a clown car this is the TCI throttle position sensor that is standalone um, it's just a cable and three wires the cable hooks to your TV linkage and it acts like a TV cable basically but it will produce a reading and it's a good decently long cable it was relatively inexpensive and I'm pretty happy with it um, it looks clean as well too so theoretically guys unless you've really really got some funky stuff going on this is probably the easiest damn thing I have ever installed tech wise um, so I will go into some of the tuning software much later um, when I do another video and I hook up the computer and you guys don't have to look at me you can just see what I'm doing on it um, We'll do that another time. But for now, this is Ryan telling you from Performa Belt. I really encourage you guys to do the electronic thing. Spend the extra couple hundred bucks. I promise it will save you so much aggravation from a 700. Whether it be your TV cable stretched, your fulcrums are wrong, you're playing with the geometry, making sure the TV cable's right. Pull starting and stopping and knocking the governor cap off pulling out the governor getting to the bench grinding weights just to get a little more shift point out of it <laughs> this is like ronco from the 90s man set it and forget it whatever that easy bake oven was this is ryan from performa built thank you for watching us shift everybody www.usshift.com quick four best controller for the 4L60E. They also offer 4L80 and Fords. Wish me luck. Fill videos next. Hopefully nothing I forgot or uh, hopefully I bolted everything up and hooked everything up right. That's always our greatest fear. Have a nice day.